Hey, so I'm here at studio today. I'm picking up a set of BBS wheels. Uh, they're gonna go on the Project uh, 440, my drop top uh, BMW. Basically, they're gonna be get fitted with the old KWs that I had on the 435. And before I do that, I'm uh, gonna take the wheels home and uh, coat them with some uh, G Technique stuff that uh, I got sent. It's basically protecting the wheel and making sure that, you know, they're very easy to clean and that brake dust doesn't really get stuck to it too much. And uh, the cool thing today is that I came here with uh, my latest press car, the new Ghost, uh, Rolls-Royce 2022 Ghost. It's a really big car, so hopefully I can fit all four wheels, which are right here. So we're gonna try and see if I can fit them in the trunk here. It's really deep. So hopefully at least two boxes. So much for the trunk idea. Um, I was only able to fit one box it's just a little bit taller if i put it vertically too bad so after picking up the bbs at uh, studi the other day i thought i should uh, get on with the job of coating so g technique sent me the c5 it's called a wheel armor so basically it uh, creates a protective film on the whole rim so it protects against brake dust and you know random contaminants so when the time comes to to actually clean you get most of the cleaning done with like a high pressure washer you don't need to get too busy with it all right moment of truth so these of course are two-piece design polished diamond cut rim and it's like a new color they offer, it's called. It's a really sparkling kind of silver. And I think it'll look good against the white of the car. Oh man, the level of shininess here. But the, the cool thing is, I never noticed this, but they actually paint the inner of the barrels in like a glossy black. You can see the little carvings behind the, the splits here of the spokes. And then on the inside of the spokes, they've actually kind of like machined out even more material, I guess as much as possible to, to shave what's weight. I mean, they're not the lightest of wheels, you know, two-piece rims are never going to be as light as one-piece forge, like the RIDs I had before, but I just needed to kind of mix things up a bit. And uh, I think these will look super cool. First thing I'm going to do is clean them with some um, G-Technique panel wipe. This is basically just to remove the, the remainder of the oils uh, that are there on the surfaces and just uh, gently wipe a little contour here around the bolts. And then once we're done with this, we'll flip the wheels around and we'll do the barrel. So I'm gonna open this here. I shook it well, a few drops to kind of saturate it. And then what you're supposed to do is do little sections of the wheel. And then I'll start with the, with the inner disc. And just kind of do this, you know, go all the way around it. Every surface, do a few spokes at a time. And then within like a minute of you wiping it, on, you gotta wipe it off with a microfiber towel. So that's as easy as it is. I mean, um, you just literally wipe it on and you wipe it off straight away. And uh, I'm just gonna get on with the rest of the wheel. I got three more to do after this. So I'm gonna keep sweating away and uh, we'll see how it kind of looks when it's all done and finished. Hey there, welcome to a very windy studio. So I'm here today. This is probably like a month on since you saw me a few minutes ago cleaning and uh, coating my BBS wheels. And uh, today is the fitting day, so uh, I brought the project dropped up 2.0 with its uh, very sad looking stock wheels. But as you can see, I've loaded up the BBS LMRSs, one box in the back, three inside, and uh, the KW suspension, and we're ready to go today for a bit of filming. There's a few other customers here waiting. The crazy thing about the studio is that they're so busy, it's insane. Every time I come here, how many customers they have waiting to get work done. The car park is literally brimmed full of cool cars, starting with the uh, AC Schnitzer 4 Series Cabriolet here, which is the new gen car, which is a replacement to my car. And the actual reason that I got this 440 to replace the 435 is because I just, I couldn't do this grill. I don't know, I just can't digest it. If they're gonna change that eventually, I mean, it does look way better on an M car. And of course we have the Studi uh, Z8 demo car, wide body, uh, tons of extra work, custom work done on this car. Okay, so the car's being driven inside now. So one of the coolest things about Studi is that they import like uh, floor tiling for uh, their uh, workshops from Germany. 
So it kind of feels like you're in a German workshop. We'll be mounting tires over here, suspension prep over there, and then the car's gonna be put there and uh, all the fitting will be done. So uh, they fished out the tires that Yokohama kindly deliver. So they're the Advan Sport V105s. It's actually the pre previous model to what has just been uh, released or uh, refreshed. And we're fitting 275s, 30, ZR20 in the, in the back and the 245, uh, 30 in the rear. So basically I'm stepping up one inch and going a little wider. Lining up the wheels with the tires, ready for fitting. And the coating I did a few weeks ago, you can really feel it. It's like silky smooth. In the meantime, the KWs are getting cut. These are the same V3s I was using on Project Drop Top, not Drop Top 2.0. Despite the facelift and the upgrades, uh, the chassis didn't change, so it's a straight swap to the 440. So with the suspension layout at the back, the spring is separate from the damper. Here's a bit of a detail of the KW V3s. And they were even kind enough to clean up the dampers and springs. Of course, these were used before on the black car that I had before, the 440, the 435. No weights needed. So while the tires are on the balancer, they clean up the sidewall. The cool thing they do here before fitting new rims is to actually get rid of that surface rust that kind of happens on the, on the inner portion of the hub. Okay, so we've measured um, and had a look at the rear. It was sagging a bit too much. So we're doing it with the roof folded and closed in the trunk. So the car sags at its lowest point right now. So we're uh, probably lifting it 10 mils, keeping into account that, you know, when you have rear seat passengers, there's a bit more squat. So wheels off again. We've actually maxed out as high uh, as you can go at the back. So this will have to be it. Honestly, I think it looks perfect. I don't think there's much difference from the black car. It is a bit lower. Okay, so we are down in uh, Hakone uh, Turnpike. This is the toll gate that leads up the mountain. And I'm basically here to finally kind of shake down the BMW Project Drop Top version 2.0, as I call it on Speed Hunters. So uh, I've recently had a set of BBS LM R's fitted at study, alongside with uh, Yokohama Advanced Sport tires and the same KW Variant 3 suspension kit that I had on the black car. Uh, you know, it was such a beautiful day today and the time was just right. I decided to come down here and get some pictures, put the car through some corners because obviously it's our daily driver in the family and we don't really enjoy it as much as we should. Uh, it's such a great car, it's such a great driver's car and of course, you know, being convertible, you kind of maximize uh, the usability tenfold. I'm a big fan of BBS rims and I wanted to do something different when it came to this car. So. Instead of the RIDs, uh, monoblocks I had last time, I went for a multi-piece wheel. Uh, I didn't want to do the LMs because I feel they're a bit too flat and the LMRs really kind of have that race look and feel about them.
did the whole turnpike and I got a little bit carried away and kind of went all the way and then we came down the other side towards Yugawara Onsen, an amazingly beautiful spot. And if you actually zoom in, you can kind of make out a little island there. So the craziest thing is that I've had this car for three years and I did the suspension and the wheel upgrade a couple of months back. And this is the actual first time that I'm able to really say that I've driven it. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the car. Obviously being a convertible is quite heavy. Uh, I think it approaches something like 1800 to 1900 kilos. So, you know, with a full tank of gas, a couple of people inside, you're well over two tons. So it feels very heavy and it kind of, it kind of has that undulation when you start hitting mid mid corner bumps but this, the kw do an amazing job with such tiny little sidewalls as you can see here there's not that much there and of course mid corner bumps really come through the steering and they kind of throw you off but the advan uh, sport that i'm running have so much grip it's quite shocking how much uh, grip they actually develop in in the you know dry conditions like this so i was able to pretty much push as hard as the car goes and just it just rails it around the, the faster corners of the turnpike. So all in all, I'm really, really happy with the whole uh, turnout of the handling and suspension package that we fitted. And, uh, you know, thanks to study for, you know, doing all the work, fitting it, getting the alignment and the, and the car to look and sit right. We had to raise the suspension all the way up to the max at the back to get that, that kind of perfect level. Of course, like I said, it's, it's a convertible, so it's quite heavy in the back, especially when the roof folds. So you kind of have to account for that extra sag at the back, but uh, we fitted the Eventuri uh, carbon airbox, and basically that allows the engine to breathe a little bit more freely, and it kind of <laughs> wakes up the, the intake sound. You get a lot of uh, flutter because of course, oh, M2. Yeah, this is the fun area. So basically, like I was saying, you get a lot of flutter because these engines don't actually run a blow-off valve. So every time you back off the throttle, you just get the woo -woo 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 sound, which is pretty cool. And of course, it looks spectacular in the engine bay. So, if you need to access the trunk when the roof is folded away, you just hold the, this uh, switch and it lifts the cover section up and then the roof gets lifted so you can have access to the trunk and all your camera gear. We need to do some driving shots of the car with the top down now. So, we're going to head back up the mountain up there where the Hakone Turnpike ends at the top. So it's actually just over a thousand meters uh, at the very top there. And uh, on a clear day, you actually get to see Mount Fuji, but today, unfortunately, it's uh, super cloudy. But yeah, let's go. So just coming up from uh, Lake Ashi, I kept the top uh, folded in the trunk. I could automatically tell there was so much weight at the back that it was bouncing and kind of like pitching outwards uh, through the tighter corner. So. It really changes the character of the car once you shift that much weight, um, you know, to the extremities. So uh, something, you know, that I never experienced with because, like I said, we just drive this car in Tokyo usually. So it's, uh, it's a good, good bit of experience to kind of like put your own car through some driving that I usually reserve only for press cars. So it's been a ton of fun, though. I have to say I'm uh, overwhelmed by the amount of grip that the Advan uh, Sports generate. Um, I'm actually on the uh, slightly older model, so when I fit to the tires, they're just about to launch the newer version. So these are the Advanced Sport V105, uh, and they have just released the 106s. And so here we are at the end of my little excursion to uh, the Hakone Turnpike and the general Hakone mountain area to put Project Drop Top 2.0 through its paces. I can't believe it's taken me so long to drive this car properly, but I got to sample the actual uh, sides of the of the tires instead of always driving straight in Tokyo. And uh, I have to say, I'm uh, I'm really impressed with how the setup has worked out so well. You know, between the advice that 
study he gave me when it comes to fitment, sizing up uh, the wheels and tires and going for the right offsets just to get that uh, look right, but also the performance and you know the, the handling, uh, everything has to be in check and they really know what they're doing and a big thanks to them. A massive thanks uh, to BBS, uh, Yokohama Tire and uh, KW Suspension for allowing me to, you know, fine tune my daily driver into something that's, uh, you know, really special on the right roads, but at the same time, a great car to live with and a car that when you park, you just have to look back and, you know, take in because it just looks so sweet. Uh, happy that, you know, this project is pretty much done. I'm not going to do much with it uh, anymore, I think, because as I said, it's our daily driver. My wife uses it to take the kids around and I think I just wanted to, you know, get it to look right and to perform when I borrow it, you know, uh, on roads like this or when I go to shoot. So uh, happy with it. And uh, now it's time for uh, the other cars in the, in the Dino DC stable. So uh, more on that soon, but uh, let me know what you thought below. Uh, in the comments and thanks for uh, always checking out the channel.